What's up, Block Fam? In the shop today, joining me, Sick Wide Glide, Chris. What's happening? And we are looking at Harley Davidson Street Glide today, which has a 131 in it. And the reason we're uh, gonna be getting into this one is because the transmission on this bike has it won't failed. Shift past fourth. Yes, or sticks as well too. We have first, Sounded. second, and third. And if you recall, trying to put it on the trailer was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it clunk. yeah, it sounded pretty terrible whenever it was actually running. We do have a transmission failure on this motorcycle. We're going to tell you guys why and show you guys what it th all that looks like. Roll the intro. We'll get into it. All right, guys, so yeah, like we said, this bike has had a transmission failure, pretty ate up, as you guys can tell from the bolt here. So this is a 2020 Harley-Davidson Street Glide. It has the Milwaukee 8 engine in it with the Harley-Davidson transmission. There was nothing changed to the transmission before all of the rest of the modifications. It does have the 131, a big bore kit, and there's a couple other things done to it, which we're gonna go through. I'm not really sure what the percentage of the failure rate of Harley-Davidson transmissions are. I don't think it's that high. What I do know the percentage of, though, is the percentage of y'all that aren't 62%. subscribed. 62%. 62% of you guys watching this. What the hell are y'all doing? What are you doing? You're watching. Hit it. That's it. That's all it takes. Click the b <laughs> We're getting a lot of people like referred to the channel. YouTube's referencing our videos for people to come and Thank watch. You, for that, YouTube. you know, because you guys are hitting the like button and it's letting YouTube know that we're doing a good job. YouTube recommends, people watch. But then those new people that watch, 60 plus percent of you guys don't hit subscribe. So if you guys want to continue to see stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. So now that we're beyond all that stuff, let's just go ahead and get into uh, what happens here. I'm sure you guys are incredibly curious as to why the transmission failed. Chris here is a uh, 25 year master level technician, so pretty versed in working on the bikes, obviously. Whenever we were taking it apart, he was pretty much going through pulling stuff off and diagnosing what could have been the issue. Well, we had the customer here. Oh, yeah, the customer was here. And so let's preface this. What did he have done recently? He had a chain put on by an unknown shop. Right, so we got a gold chain here. So chain and sprocket conversion. He, so come, he came in with a squalling noise in the primary and it didn't really want to move. So we ended up, regardless of what happened, this all has to come apart anyways. Yep. So we decided, hoping that it was in the primary, we could save him some money, we'd start on this side. So we dismantled this while he was here. Unfortunately, that was not it. In order to get to like figure out if it's a, it's a transmission, you gotta go through all this anyways. And so we started taking apart all of this, you know, checking it and making sure all was uh, all was good. Everything here looks fine, which means it's in, it's in there. So the customer wanted to go with something a little stronger and we are sorting them out with a Baker grudge box. So here we have, if you guys don't know about the Baker Grudge Box, tightly tuned and tough overdrive six-speed Baker uh, drivetrain made in the USA. Yes, most important. Super awesome, which means no having to wait on uh, shipping containers, right? And they actually got this out to us incredibly fast. So we if you guys- We actually called them yep. on a Friday and we had it, what, Thursday. They gave us a week lead time plus shipping. So we were looking at almost two weeks out and we got it in less than what, about less than five business days. So they built it and sent it to us. So big shout out to Baker. So we're actually a uh, linked up with them now. We're a distributor for Baker. So if you guys are looking to do any transmission work to your bikes, whatever it may be, if you're wanting to put something beefier in there because you're doing more of a performance build, here at the Blackhead Garage, we can do Baker. And let's also mention real quick that Baker stands behind their products 100%. Yep. Doesn't matter what primary you're running, doesn't matter if you're running a comp delete, if you're running a stock comp, Man of War comp, doesn't matter. They stand behind their products. So if you're wanting service, head over to blockheadgarage.com, fill out the form, let us know what you guys are wanting done. Uh, we can pretty much do anything and everything. We've got full tire up custom builds going on over here. And then we've got, you know, normal restoration stuff happening on like giveaway chopper over there, giveaway baggers, uh, dyno tuning, if you guys want dyno tuning. So blockheadgarage.com if you're looking to get any service done. So this is a bike that we've given away already uh, and we're finishing uh, building it out. So we're waiting on parts to come back. We've got uh, stuff sent out for gold plating, powder coat and paint, waiting for all that to come back and then we will get started in rebuilding it. We've got wheels and tires and stuff already. But while we have it down, it's a good reference as to what stock looks like versus uh, aftermarket. So Chris is talking about comp delete here. Well, what are you referring so, to? This is your compensator. This is a two piece sprocket design. 
you can't I haven't taken this apart but this, these are cams and this itself is the sprocket the cam design on the sprocket if you distribute power you go whap on the engine this part the cam part is gonna ramp forward the sprocket is gonna ride up these what is known as the cam right they're gonna ride up that absorb that shock load so that it doesn't distribute the shock load straight to the chain it's gonna absorb a little bit of that and distribute the power through the chain through the sprocket and down through the belt smoothly rather than just harshly it'd okay. be like getting punched versus getting pushed i was right? just i was so just same thinking that power yeah. the difference is instead of somebody punching you in the arm they're gonna push you with the right, same okay. amount of power. so instead of a hard like being transferred from there to here it's more of like a a Correct. gentle Correct. so it's absorbing it's basically like not taking away your power, but like keeping it from hurting the transmission. Correct. Okay. And the drive line subsequently. If right. you notice, we have a cush drive in the rear. All right. So if we want to go further down the line, this also absorbs shock through the wheel and distributes to the belt without, again, without a punch. Okay. That saves wear and tear on your belt. Now, if you're producing 160 foot pounds of torque, such as this bike the customer's is, bike here is, and you delete your comp and you go to a solid comp you notice this is one piece design this is two piece and behind this two piece you've got um, springs these are spring plates mm -hmm. right again that absorbs all that shock this has absolutely nothing so the minute you say Wah! this goes yeah and just punches the shit out of it sends that shock all the way down the drive line since that is a chain drive and no longer has this Cush drive in it, it has nothing to absorb that shock. The only thing that takes that shock is the transmission. And when you do that, this ultimately is what happens to your transmission. <laughs> Should never look like that. No. And here's a little bit of oil left. If your oil looks like this. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, look at all this. Exactly. If it looks like this. Yeah, that's like tons of metal. Correct. Wow. That's kind of how this works. All of this that Harley designs is to absorb shock, right? It promotes longer driveline life uh, or drivetrain life. Um, it promotes more comfort in your butt. You know, you want to rip it and you go, ah, but it's going to deliver it smoothly. Once we undo all that and make it now, power now, the transmission is the weak link in the middle. Okay. Hence, Baker. Hence this broken transmission. <laughs> Hence the grudge box. Essentially, he took away all of the absorption. padding, the absorption, like yep. the safety is kind of built around it and found out that the weak link was the transmission. Transmission. Okay. And unfortunately, his weak link was fourth gear. Wow. I would not chalk that up. This We're not saying that Harley Davidson transmission failed. It is the Harley transmission, but it didn't fail because a stock build. No. This is very much not a stock build. It's a 131, like Chris was saying, it has 164 torque. So whenever you get to that amount of power, which is drastically over what stock numbers are. Do you remember what stock numbers are for the 114? Mm. Considerably like 40 to 50% more than just torque. And so whenever you take out those buffers, you know, the cushions that are built around it and you're delivering that, like whenever you said, like you just whack throttle and it goes, all that power goes straight there without any of that cushion. The tolerances haven't been built to withstand that. And that's where the, the grudge box comes in from Baker. So we're gonna be replacing that and then we'll crank it up. This is for you guys at home. If you wanna build up a nasty monster, that's by all means do it but understand what the weak link is yeah especially when you take out what the factory did to save the transmission yeah what's next for this thing uh we're gonna pull this transmission out and see just how bad it is we'll all put some eyeballs on it clean out the case and we'll get it ready to put the uh grudge box in all right that's not smooth at all it's supposed to be it's actually in fourth gear right now that is what fourth gear is doing yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, I'm sure the viewers at home can get an idea that that is not what a transmission is <laughs> supposed should be to be. Doing. Supposed to be smooth motion. Well, it should be turning the wheel. Yeah. Oh, true that too. Yeah, yeah. it should be actually putting <laughs> pressure to turn the wheel. Yeah. And instead, it's just like chunk, 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 chunk. Inner primary bearing race remover tool. <laughs> Little heat always assists. Look at that. Think it's hot? Yeah, you wanna grab that? You wanna touch that? No, I'm good. That is 
is not how your transmission should look when it comes apart. I'm gonna guess that this is part of fourth gear. Oh, look, there's another piece of it. Oh my God. Yep. Look at that. For those of you that have never gotten to see this, See that? Looks like a potato peeler went through that gear. Ooh. No teeth left. Look at all that in there. This is a, what's known as a Christmas tree, right? This is a slider gear. This gear, this gear, this gear, and this gear are all machined out of one piece. Mm. So this oh. whole, what we'll call a Christmas tree, is no good. So you'd have to replace all of that in order to just replace that one? Correct. Okay. And same with this one, as you can tell, that's yeah, it's eight up too. No good as well. See that? Look at that missing, really missing there. How many two? Gear size is different. Thickness is different. Straight cut versus helical cut. This is straight cut. These are helical cut. See how they're cut off at an angle? Yeah. These are very smooth transmissions. These are very tough transmissions. So stock Harley transmission. Baker grudge box. A lot of differences just at first glance. Specialty made, performance oriented versus large scale manufacturing, you know, pumping them out for every Harley Milwaukee 8 that's out there. So Milwaukee 8 transmission is pretty solid. So don't don't read into part of this video and go, oh huh, Harley sucks, because that's not the case. No. Um, it's what you pair with it. Right, so if you want to change your comp and you want to change your drive line, change your transmission. If you're cool with your comp and your drive line, leave the transmission alone. Your bike's 150, 150, 151, and 150. It's got a stock transmission, it's primarily a stock drive line right now. Our goal for your bike and for others is to put as much power as we can to it, and when it fails, then we'll show it and explain it. Yeah. So with Goldzilla there setting on the dyno, what we're trying to do with her is actually find what the weakest link is and we're gradually building up to that. So it's a, it's a build series where, but also like a, a science experiment, if you will. We, we, yeah, well, we say that all the time. Yeah, for, for science. science. Yeah. We're gonna see what it can handle and what you get for what you buy, right? So if you have a stock bike and you say, I wanna put all this stuff in it, well, that's cool. We're, we're gonna do it for you. And then once we break things, it saves you the dollar. Yeah. Because now you know what fails and what doesn't fail yeah. and when. So, as you can see from here, if you choose to go with a comp delete and a chain drive conversion, because it looks cool and my brother's doing it, well, know that you should change your transmission at the same time, especially if you feel like dumping the clutch trying to do a wheelie. Because <laughs> that's what's going to happen to your fourth gear. <laughs> Basically. We're just gonna run it around in here, get up on the edges, because it's everywhere. The rest of this is aluminum. Look at that fucking monster. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> hey, you wanna take that over? That's everything that we pulled over, huh? Go ahead. You take that. Count those, let me know if they're all there. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> we found the teeth. Right here, yep. Man. Just so y'all know, brake cleaner's not just for brakes. Yeah, it looks much better. Yeah, this is a couple little gouges in the case, that. though. Yeah. Four pieces got all ripped up in there. And we'll smooth down any high parts, but it. it'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all be careful out there. With great power comes great responsibility, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, resuming the transmission install on this busted <laughs> bike. Michael Bertini, why did you decide to go with? The garage box here from Baker. Um, so I should have actually did it um, when I did the compensator delete uh, from Evo Industries, and I should have did it again after I did the fuel moto <laughs> chain drive <laughs> kit. I should have did it then, but uh, yeah, I did it. Baker took care of us. Y'all took care of me, and so yeah, that's how we ended up with a Baker. And uh, according to Baker, this thing's bulletproof, so there's literally no way you can blow it up. Let's According shoot it. to Baker. Let's shoot it. Let's shoot it. All right, remember, you got to help on the other side then. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at my block garage. Garage. Where we put the customers to work. Yeah, well, <laughs> you think you're going to stand around here and do nothing? F no.
So Chris is done with the install of the uh, Baker grudge box here. Just took it for a rip. Begrudgingly. Begrudgingly. Hate and disdain. <laughs> what are your first thoughts and impressions of uh, just taking it out for that initial small uh, ride? I want to I wanna take it out further, no doubt. I mean, we didn't get to go very far, but uh, there's definitely a distinct difference between this and your stock transmission. You were saying I, there's no clunk, it's smooth, I think it's right? smoother, yeah, yeah personally. I mean, from what little bit I got to go, yeah, right. I shifted through all the gears multiple times as much as possible, and um, yeah, it's overall much smoother. I'd love, like I said, I'd love to get it out on the highway, put a few miles on it, and then really no. Right. So that's cool. Smoother and can take more power. That's, that's what they perk say. And, perk. and yeah. I mean, from everything we know, yes, it will take more power. So this is the first grudge box I've seen, and just the... The build quality of it looked really nice. What was the exhaust again? The exhaust is Fuel Motos. It's the RTX Jackpot Riot 2 in a 1. I think it's loud. It is, yeah. It's me. So it's 131 with the, what's the cam? Uh, the cam is a 540C from SNS. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm gonna show sure you got the cam chest kit. Yeah, yeah right. Full so all the rest of that. Kit. Yep. And then the Comp Delete. Comp Delete Recluse cut, uh, Clutch. I, I didn't really get the whole story. I think that was more between you and Chris whenever you guys were initially talking. But yeah. what happens whenever you ended up losing fourth gear? Like what was, you're just riding casually or you're no, trying to- No, I went, to, I went to, to get on the bike, like show somebody how how it pulls. Right. Um, because it pulls like a freight train. I mean, it, it it's almost like crazy torque at 1800 RPM. So right. it's, it pulls real hard. And yeah, I was in fourth gear and typically with this cam in fourth gear, you could pull it. It's like you're in second gear, it's crazy. Okay. Um, and as you can tell by the gear, it, it, it snapped it. That's how much torque it puts down. So fourth gear, you basically like Thru snap it on throttle and just... And that was it. Boop, gone. Boom, just snapped it. What did that feel like initially? It was just like ka clunk or... Yeah, I heard a... I, well, RPMs shot immediately for me. Um, RPM shot up immediately for me and then I heard a, a really loud pop sound. And then I immediately let off the throttle and decided, okay, let me just, you know, let this cruise down. I did that, and then I shifted down into third gear, and then I tried to shift back up into fourth gear because first thing is transmission. And sure enough, couldn't go back into fourth gear, so I decided I, you know, I'm out in the country, ride it back home, <laughs> and then call Daddy Chris up. So if you had any advice for people that are looking to do a build like this, yep. what would it be? Uh, With having your experience now. I think that if you're looking to do a big motor build, um, you're looking to put down this kind of torque, and you're looking to do a compensator delete, and you know a chain drive and you're really going that route you can't cheap out on the transmission you got to have in your mind you know to spend that money right off the bat and just don't don't mess around at all the stock transmission is nice but obviously like it holds up but obviously once you start doing these things where you're removing all the safety features th this is bound to happen and you know it did cool man well we'll have to do a follow-up congrats on your new uh baker grudge box man thank you y'all gotta come by the house and take the bike from me and uh We'll take it and do some video content with it. You're it's the amazing. fourth customer. You're within the top 10. Yeah, nice. So what, what was your experience just to like let viewers know? So, well, the block one, here. obviously I got picked up. <laughs> My bike got picked up, so, and I know it's a first One and, and only. Last. Yeah, a first, <laughs> first and, and the last. last. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously white glove treatment. The shop, I don't know if, how much content everybody else is, you know, out there is watching, but the shop is really, really nice. It's super clean, it's super friendly. Um, oh, there you go, now you got a full shot of it. So um, <laughs> it's nicer in person. Videos don't do it justice. Obviously I've been watching the Thanks, videos man. for for over four years now. So it, it, the videos don't, don't, <laughs> don't do the shop justice. And then, yeah, I mean, the quality of service, uh, you know, Chris, he is, I mean, there's a reason why he's my mechanic. I think too, though, your attention to detail though. I think that's one thing, and I know y'all and the viewers, you're only seeing clips of what, you know, gets put in this footage. Um, and I'm sure if you look back, you know, in some of my videos of Chris, it, the details are like, you don't get to see everything. And if you knew him, you'd understand the attention to detail that he pays attention to stuff is like, it's crazy. And even when you're trying to mess with him, <laughs> he still knows, he already knows like how that, that part goes on. So to me, that's a big deal. Obviously, when you put this kind of money into a bike, I'm, you know, for some of you sports car guys, Lamborghini guys, you know, you know, you want to take it to somebody who's going to take good care of this kind of bike because 
it's your it's an investment, you know. So man, it's your I baby. Gotta hire you, right? You are selling the shit <laughs> me right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. It's, your work speaks for itself, and uh, yeah, I'm happy, man. I got a cool eight smile. Well, hey, man, thank you for uh, bringing the bike by and, you know, like trusting us with, you know, fixing up your transmission and looking forward to uh, whatever you uh, got planned for the future, man. For sure. Thanks, dude. Sounds good, bro. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed this insight into, uh, yeah, like a, a transmission. It's the first Baker Grudge box I've seen. If you guys enjoyed it, what do they do? Hit the like button. Hit the damn button. What do I say? <laughs> Click, Click that. that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys aren't subscribed, hit subscribe. Uh, hit the bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch y'all on the next one. Nope. Nope.